All right, we're back. So on this one, we're gonna take you on the journey with us for the Vice Belt. It's a new product. It's a complete gangster. Been wearing the prototype for many months now. And uh, I want to take you guys on the ride with us from a concept to being in a customer's hands and all the steps in between, the ups and downs, the whatever, it's crazy. A lot of things you guys don't get to see on the manufacturing side. So uh, yeah, roll with us, man. Let's go. Oh man, let's talk about it. We got the Raider belt. So check it out. It's a black anodized in titanium right here. Look at that. That's beautiful. And we have the brass with the milled cover here. Hope you can see that. Yeah, man. This is a project I'm super excited about. It's came together over many, many months of trial and error and wearing them around and see what works, see what doesn't work, different materials. Um, Cause the wallets don't involve really any material like this, obviously. So, you know, that was a whole process and the sewing, the cutting, and uh, it's just something really cool. That's all came together. And I want to take you on that ride with us because we're just, you know, starting to production and making tooling and all that. So yeah, roll with us and let's go. Come on. All right. So I'm working on changing my jaw fixtures out for uh, the belt. And I just pulled off the piranha fixture that I uh, shared in the last video and now I'm and now I'm going to start working on uh, the belt fixture I was going to do a pallet for this one but I, I just don't have time I'm trying to get these out for uh, all the, the holiday um, madness and it's such a cool product I don't want to share it with you guys to get it out there so, I am just uh, going to wing it on, I'll show you what I got. I'm going to wing it on just a double vise right now. I'll cut some grooves in here for the stock to lay in, something like that. And, yeah, we'll do four, and then I'll get this ready and show you in a second. Um, and we'll op one, op two, we'll flip it and have some soft, soft jaws over here. didn't go well so ran into a problem um let me show you so i wanted to have this the middle in the middle of the table but uh as i put this on there it's way off the middle of the table and i just noticed so i just took these things out of the box these um vices and just put them straight on the table I didn't really take them apart or really inspect them but here's one sticker and here's the other so yeah the whole patterns are on opposite of each other so <clears throat> I need to flip this whole vice around 180 so that's a bummer oh didn't see that coming but I really want everything in the middle of the table and these holes just won't allow it so I'm gonna have to flip it around yeah that sucks didn't foresee that coming but uh this is what it is so I'm gonna flip that around and keep digging
right, that sucked. I hate doing that. I'm sure you, you guys feel my pain, but uh, got that flipped around 180, and now we're going to uh, now we're on center. So yeah, I can match these holes up with the part of the vise. So that way, you know, you, my parts are sitting dead center, and I get to use all of the bed. So uh, yep. Let's do that. I wanted it in the middle, right? But I can't have anything hanging out of the back of the machine or it's gonna hit my weight cover. It you see, right there. So uh, I'm actually gonna have to slide this forward and um, I know like right there, to offset that where this jaw doesn't hang off the back. All right, had to audible and switch it up. What I wanted to do, just not the best option. Uh, so let me show you what I had to do. So I'm going with this style, uh, these blocks that you can machine into soft jaws. Uh, I'm gonna lay it out like this, basically the same thing, but I'm, by the time I put the soft jaws in with the steel interchangeable middle there, uh, they were gonna be pretty far out here. And yeah, I didn't want that. I want to keep my part more towards the center because I have this face mill doing a bunch of stuff. So yeah, I think this is a, the better option. So, you know, we'll do soft jaws over here where I cut and make a pocket for them. So we'll do four and a four. And, um, you know, like I said, I, I originally wanted to do a pallet system, but uh, I just haven't had that much time to design and really do it the way I want to. I want to do some like Mighty Bite stuff. And uh, I don't know if you watched the previous video with the Piranha fixture. I I love that fixture, but it's kind of a pain in the butt with all of the little cam screws that you have to tighten and they kind of pushing against that aluminum, they wear out a little bit. So you have to shim them up with the brass shims. It's it's not the best option. It can be done better. So maybe I'll uh, revisit that one and, you know, make it better down the road. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to do something a little different on this. So when it comes time to do the pallet, I'll, uh, I'll do something super quick. Something I can use, like, one tool to change everything and very minimal um, screws that I have to turn and yada, yada. Y'all know the deal. Less, less the better. So, yep. I am going to go do everything uh, in CAM that's needed to machine the pockets. I'm going to design. I have to design the pocket in here and, um, you know, machine it. So... Got the picture all uh, done, and that went way off to where I, I land. But um, yeah, this is just kind of temporary fix to keep these fat boys in production. And this is what we got. I already kind of worked one all the way through. It is completely. This thing is so dope. Um, yeah, I'll show you somewhere in this video the finished product. Man, they're great. Uh, let me show you what I've got in here. All right, so, um, yeah, this is what we ended up with. Got one already. The first I've done is done on this one. 
And uh, now I just have to copy what I got going on here to these other four. And when this one's done, we're gonna turn around and flip it. And uh, the same fits I got love in there. And yeah, we'll work it all the way through. And next time we open the door, we'll have a finished part. All right, while that's machining, let me show you something cool that has nothing to do with machining. Come on, let's go. All right, this. This is a CNC, a programmable sewing machine that's going to be a huge part in making this project, uh, making, making the belts. It's going to do these three stitches. Where are you at, Cameron? Uh, right there. And it's going to put the best part in. That right there. Whoops. That right there, guys. That's what it's all about. That's what we're striving for to do it here in America. Not because it's easy. Er. Because we can. And we should. So, let me show you this. All right, this was my personal touch. But yeah, you can, um, you can program... This is the program I have right now for stitching, but I, I wrote this program just in like a, uh, just in like m my CNC machines, but you know, it's stitching. Sure. You have to tell it each stitch where to land and plot that out, basically. It's, uh, it's like old school programming on a notebook, but, and one of the coolest things, I had to design all this fixturing. Hey. And uh, you see this, this is definitely not stock on here, but this is a big part of making the belt. It's a 3D printed fixture. It's still kind of a rough draft. I've got to clean it up and do a bunch of stuff, but it will go in there and you'll smash the foot pedal right here and it will clamp down and you start to sew. So, this thing is wicked fast. I'll do some videos at some point on it. Um, it's really not set up to do that at the moment because I've been playing around with it and stuff. But uh, yeah, it's going to make doing this belt at scale uh, doable because, man, it's, if you're sitting there sewing these things by hand or, you know, an old school machine, which I have right beside it, um, it's it's like a walking foot some tree. It's it's gonna be brutal and it's just not scalable. Uh, so we made this a dedicated room just for sewing, uh, sewing the belts. Um, that's how strongly I feel about this product. Man, it's awesome. I've been rocking it for a minute, and I dig it. It's 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 very unique, and there's just nothing like it out there. Um, we're just in the. Uh, the beginning phases of it so i'm kind of just i'm learning as i go you, you you don't know what you don't know so like all the the processes of getting things running smoothly um you know i do what i can off past experiences like uh the wallets and all the other products but you know a lot of parts and a lot of things have to come together to to make the product float so yeah Hopefully you'll go on that journey with us. It's going to be interesting, man. And this might be common sense to most, but um, maybe I'm not the brightest crayon, but something that just hit me, I used to do this.